Hey guys, Dr. Berg here. In this video, we're going to talk about the best sources of calcium. Now, the thing you want to realize is you want to try to get your calcium from food, not necessarily supplements. Most people are taking calcium carbonate. That's like, it's like eating rocks. It's like limestone. You'd be better off chewing on the cement on the side of the you know, building. But here's some good food sources. Um, I'm not going to talk about milk or yogurt because milk is usually pasteurized. It's not a good product and yogurt has a lot of sugar. But kefir might be a good thing. But cheese, look at that. One ounce of cheese has 240 milligrams of calcium. And this is bioavailable calcium too. So I'm from Wisconsin. I eat a lot of cheese. But cheese is a really good source of calcium. Make sure it's grass-fed, organic, hormone-free. Sesame seeds, one tiny little teaspoon is 90 milligrams. Um, tahini, that's, that's sesame seed butter. You can get this from any grocery store. This is a really... Uh, Taste is very bland. It's kind of like peanut butter, but I would mix it. Look at that. One tablespoon is 63 milligrams of calcium. Sardines. One can is 370 uh, milligrams. And then we got kale is 94 per cup. Broccoli. One cup is 178. Pretty good. Look, at it's double kale. Salmon. Three ounces is 180. So when you're taking calcium, realize that a lot of your food has calcium. So it's not hard to get calcium. Um, you don't eliminate as much calcium as other things like magnesium. So you would probably want to get magnesium from the vegetables, but um, usually what happens is that when you consume calcium, you need magnesium to work with it. So in nature, like you're going to get calcium, you're going to, in these leafy greens, you're going to get calcium and magnesium together. So they both work, um, you know, harmoniously. Okay, so the other point I want to make is if your stomach is too alkaline, and that, that means if you have like heartburn or acid reflux or you're taking antacids, uh, chances are you're not going to absorb calcium because you need a real strong acid stomach to absorb calcium. If you're deficient in vitamin D, you will not be able to transport or absorb calcium either. Also, there's another vitamin called vitamin K2. I create a lot of videos on that. I'll put some videos down below. But if you're deficient in vitamin K2, you'll not be able to mobilize calcium and it starts to plug up the soft tissues and the joints and the arteries. So you get a whole bunch of issues with that. But I wanted just to kind of give you some sources so you might want to, um, uh, you know, take note of that. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.